JJ. What? It's time for a wanna bud. Get your stuff and get ready. Okay. Guys, I'll be right back. Oh, guys, I can't find my vest. JJ, you ready? Yes. You got your book? Yes. And your Bible? Yes. Where's your uniform? Mom, I can't find it. Uh, JJ. What? Okay, guys, if you still don't have your uniforms, you can still follow along with us tonight. Here com coming up next is my mom, Miss Kelly, who has the lesson. Hey, Awana TNT Clubbers. I'm Miss Kelly. You guys see me at Awana a lot of times. The boys, maybe not as much because I work with the girls, third to sixth grade. But tonight we're going to have everybody combined. We're going to do the third to sixth grade boys and girls. So if you want to follow along, grab your book and your Bible and meet me back here. So let's get started. Um, you're going to grab your book and your Bible and you're going to turn to section 4.2 in your book, which is on page 199, starting on. Um, and then you're going to grab your Bible and you're going to turn to Acts chapter 3 verses 1 through 3. So, um, on the first page, it's the start here where you're supposed to draw something that floats and draw something that sinks. So, I kind of started you guys off with some ideas. Um, for something that floats, I drew a sailboat. And for something that sinks, I drew an anchor. So, they also um, said to ask your parent or guardian to name three things that float and three things that sink and draw what he or she tells you. So we're gonna move on to the next page, which is page 200. I have the bigger teacher guide, um, but basically it tells you to turn to Acts chapter three in your Bible. We're gonna read verses one through three. Um, it says, now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple, who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked an alms. So if you go back to your book, um, there's a little paragraph at the top that you guys can read that says, when we discover God's grace and light, love, we discover joy. Joy is more than running around with a smile on your face and laughing all the time. So let's find out more about joy. If you think about a rubber duck floating in the water, even when you push it down underneath the water, it pops back up. That is what happens with joy that is from God. You just can't contain it. No matter how life may try to push you down, a believer can't help but have joy because we have that hope and peace in Jesus. So going back to Acts 3 that we just read, um, the first question said, what was wrong with the man? So if you go back to chapter 3, verse 2 in Acts, um, it says a certain man was lame from his mother's womb. So he was lame. He couldn't walk. Um, so that's the answer to question 1 on page 200 in your books. Every day the lame man was carried to the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate. What would he ask people for? In verse 2 it says. So verse 2 says, he laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. So what he would ask for was alms, which in our day and age, that's considered money. So the answer for number two is money. He laid there and asked for money, just like kind of sometimes when you see homeless people on the side of the road begging for money. That's what this man did. So whom did the lame man ask for money in verse three? So in verse 3, it says, Who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked an alms, which means he asked Peter and John for money. So in verse th or ch question 3, the answer is Peter and John. Next says, look up and read Acts 3, 4 through 6. So we're going to read 4 through 6. It says, And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. So that's pretty cool. Um, question four is what did Peter not give to the man? So he did not give him silver and gold. He didn't give him any money. 
Peter and John didn't have the money to give, but they did have something much better. They told him about Jesus. So what did Peter tell the man to do in verse 6? Let's go back to that. Verse 6 says, Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. So the answer to question 5 is, um, what did the man tell him to do? He said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. So, in the space below, draw a picture of what happened in verses 7 and 8. So that's what you're going to do on page 201 of your book. If you just flip it over, you're going to draw a picture of what happened in verses 7 and 8, which Peter healed the man, and the man walked, leaped, and praised God. So that's the answer to the question. You just have to draw a picture that depicts that. So the man was excited and he was so filled with joy. He was so thankful for what God had done that he not only walked, he jumped up and down and praised God. How amazing is that, that he made him walk? God gives us joy too. When we trust Jesus Christ as our savior, we get that same joy. It isn't something we work to have. Even when life doesn't go the way we want it, God always gives us joy. Even like now in times where you guys are stuck in your houses, you can't go out, you can't go to school, you feel like you can't have any fun. There's always joy in the little things. You guys can build forts with your brothers and sisters. You can um, get all your family together and do a family devotion. There's tons of things we could give God joy for and have fun for in this time. Um, so who saw the man walking and praising God in verse 9? Because now we're supposed to go through and read verses nine, verse 9. So it says, and all the people saw him walking and praising God. So everyone saw him. Everyone saw the joy that he had. And how amazing is that? When the people saw the lame man healed, what does verse 10 tell us that they were filled with? So verse 10 says, and they knew that it was he which sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. So they realized that it was this man that was couldn't walk before. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. So the answer to question eight was they, you can circle um, wonder and amazement. That's what these people were filled with when they saw that God had made him walk. So when people see our joy, they want to have the same joy. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to read our memory verse for the week, which is Psalms 1611. Let's read it together. Read it with me as I read it aloud. You can read it in your Bible or out of your book. So Psalms 1611, thou wilt show me the path of life in thy presence is fullness of joy at thy right hand. There are pleasures forevermore. So that's our verse this week. I'm going to tell you two ways that you can actually get sign up off your on your section while staying at home, sitting on your couch, sitting at your desk, wherever you are right now. Um, so one way is you can either have your, your parents call one of your leaders, our numbers and our emails are out there um, to get a hold of us. And you can say your verse to us over the phone, or you can have your parents film you saying your verse. And you can also send that into us too. So we could see you guys saying your verses at home. Um, love seeing you guys today. I miss you. Um, can't wait to get back to club. I know it might be a little bit, but this is one way we wanted to try and reach out to you guys since we can't be in club in person. So we look forward to seeing you next week. Try to log in every week. Um, we're going to post new videos Wednesdays at 630 because that's when we normally would meet for club. So love you guys. Hope to see you soon. Have a good night. See ya.